functional test. The purpose of this test is to assess cardiorespiratory cardio fitness. And um, we use the treadmill, this test to actually predict VO2 max. Uh, what occurs during this test is that as the intensity in the grade goes up, the heart rate also goes up, and uh, the intensity of the heart rate lets us know how well his muscles are using oxygen and in turn let us know his VO2 max. So uh, this test is appropriate for non-sedentary individuals and also non-highly fit individuals. This test is also for moderate to low risk of cardiorespiratory disease. Uh, so Kenny is in the first stage. It's a three-stage test of three minutes each. Um, the first stage is also considered the warm-up. Right now he's at a speed of 1.7 miles per hour and a grade of 10%. How do you feel? No, you <laughs> um, At the end of each minute in each stage, we record heart rate and RPE using the RPE scale here. It's rated perceived exertion. So now that we are done testing, it's time to do the calculations to predict the VO2 max. The calculations used in this video will be from the American College of Sports Medicine. The first calculation we'll be doing is figuring out the sub-maximal volume of oxygen consumed in stages 2 and 3 using the equation underlined and boxed in. This first one is the only equation we will be doing with you, just to ensure that your math and order of operations is correct. Plug your data into the appropriate spots in the equation, and it should look something like this. Be sure to use the correct order of operation by using multiplication first and then addition. Now that you have the data you need for the submaximal volume of oxygen consumed, for stages two and three, you can use this data to figure out the slope of the heart rate over the VO2. Finally, we can predict the VO2 max by plugging in the data you've already collected into this equation. Plug the data in and do the correct order of operations and your job is done. <laughs> 